Good afternoon ladies and gents, this won't be a very long video but we're at Cowcross Yards in Farringdon and uh, just see what this graffiti is and then I'll be showing you something, a little piece of old London that hasn't changed much at all. So this one, preferably without the lamp post in it, which I shall have to remove. So just getting some snaps of that. Went you this way, car across yard. Or yards rather. This is not, um, some of these buildings haven't changed for a long time. They've just been brought into the modern world and adapted that way. At the back of this here, what you're seeing here is the back of the, um, the rookery, which is a very, very select London hotel. But the main thing I want to show you is here. Well, this is one side of it. We're coming up towards Cowcross Street and Martin Lane now. Not far from Smithfield Meat Market. I've taken pictures of these. But that's what I wanted to show you. And if there's any... Um, old historical photos of this area they will follow at the end of the video this is one of the old bits of London that hasn't changed much at all in years you got another one of them up there which we'll see in a minute oh, excellent the black's going now this is what I wanted to get Without the bike racks in it. That's it. And off we go. We're going to be going into Martin Lane in a minute, so excuse the wall for a moment. It's usually wall or floor if people are around, which a couple of people have moaned about, but there we are. You can't please everyone, can you? I have no intentions of trying either. I can please some of you, it's true. And you got more of them around this side as well. Here we are. And this is Martin Lane, which takes you round or to the rookery, which is here. And it is a very, very select London hotel for businessmen and things like that. So, yeah, it's a beautiful area. Interesting too, just turn around a moment because someone's coming. But yeah, that's that building there, Carcross Street, obviously by the name. And being so near Smithfield Meat Market, you can tell what it was originally used for. Cowcross Street, which is what we're coming up to now. Oh, this is Peter's Lane, not Martin Lane, sorry. My mistake, Peter's Lane. So, hope you all enjoyed that little snippet. If you did, give it a like. And thank you very much for watching. Hope you're all well. Thanks very much. And this is the rookery at Peter's Lane, looking down towards Farringdon Station, which is just down there. So, yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And now let's step back in time and see this interesting old place as it was years ago. So you've seen it as it is now, and now we're going to be off into the past to see it as it was then. Hope you're all going to enjoy this. Off we go.
Here you see a lovely Victorian painting circa 1850s or 60s and this shows Cowcross Street as it was then and where this street gets its name from. Um, Smithfield Meat Market is literally just a few minutes stroll from here. Now later on Smithfield Meat Market gained an underground railway which was specifically put there to bring the meat in to London and to Smithfield. Before that, this is what you had. Droves of cows or whatever were being brought in, walking through the streets like this, which was a very smelly, noisy, and for the animals, distressing business, and really held things up quite a lot. As you can see by the carts, the man on the left, and the man in the middle up on his high cart there, they would have had to wait for this lot to all finish and go by. Hence why the Underground Railroad was bought in, or railway was bought in, that underground railway, which served the meat market for quite some years, later and now is an underground car park. I've covered that before. And now we're into the uh, era of photography. 232 Peters Lane, looking south towards Cowcross Street, circa 1867. And the ramshackle looking building that you see on the left, as we see, by the end word here, demolished, no longer exists, which is quite sad really, because that would have been an interesting one to have a look at, wouldn't it? But yeah, these are little lost snippets of London. Our next image, which is a drawing, um, numbers 18 to 20 Carcross Street, circa 1817, between the tin plate works and the Green Man, and still is the entry to White Horse Alley. And the next three images, all dating from the early 20th century, circa 1920s, around about that era, show Peter's Lane, as it was, pretty grimy and run down. And as I said, it certainly isn't like that now. And this image from 1915 shows a little, another piece of lost London that is no longer there. Just the Danish Baking Company in Carcross Street, 1915. This view is probably taken on an upper floor, which was numbers 9 to 13. And the next image is going to be the same place, but a little bit later on, and outside. And that's this one. Peter's Lane, West Side, 1978 showing the premises formerly the Danish Bacon Company at right and left, which was numbers 5 to 10 with Gable and 12 and 14, which has all now been demolished. So it would have been an interesting one to have a look at, you can see. But in the 70s, everything was a little bit run down, which this area most certainly is not now. So that was our little blast into the past. Hope you've all enjoyed that and found it interesting. Thanks for watching.